till we lose. So I'll keep doing the 1v1s. And when I lose, I lose. And I, how did I just fail on that? How did I just fail? So yeah, let's just start. Solo. Let's do solo. Let's play Bed Wars solo. No, I want. I want to play Bed Wars solo. Play. Thank you for working this time. Can you see my screen? And today we will be playing on the steampunk map. And it looks like we, what color will we get? What color will we get? And if you guys didn't know, a good strategy, get a fireball and fire and fireball on top of your bed. And if you're about to die, you always take two so you can fireball away because fireballs launch you very far. Have any of you ever played Fortnite? It's kind of like the shockwave grenade if you've ever have. And another tip, always be aware of your surroundings because people can always rush you. And here is our tutorial on Bed Wars, starting now. So first, if you're not that good, you can just build like this without um, pressing shift, just like this until you hit your base. Or if you're better, you can untap shift. And you see how, see how I died there? So, don't, don't make that happen. I want my bed to get destroyed. If your bed gets destroyed, this is what you should do. Always fight, and if you lose, you lose. So, that's my time doing as a nub. Now, I'm going to try as a medium player. So as you can see, if you're a, no a noob, then that works for you. You're not going to get a win. But now I'm going to actually try. No more no more falling off. No more. I'm actually going to try now. Well, not try, but like medium. And a good tip, if you get enough gold, I definitely suggest getting a sword. But right now I am double layering my bed defense. Not that it's going to help that much, but it's always helpful because that tiny thing can do so much. If you know what I mean, chat, you know what I mean, chat? Wendy's going off my bed defense. You know what? I'm just making it bulky. I am not trying to make it a good bed defense because I'm not going like pro. I'm going like I'm a medium player. I'm not or I would do a normal. Come on. Now see I have got enough to rush. I uh, I'll save up for armor. Just so you know, I am thinking like a medium player too. I'll show you my mistakes when I do a pro. As a medium player, I can build like that. 
but I still can't breezily. And keep it. Get the diamonds here, that's cool. And uh, my audio is breaking up, my audio is breaking up. Oh, that's just my friend coming in, don't worry. He just joined my Discord call. So, here I'm just gonna, don't have enough, where is it? I'm not, I'm not used to this version. I haven't played Beggars in a long time. Sure, I remember Sharpened Swords comes first always. Yeah, and take all of that out. And get Iron Armor. Because I can't, I can PvP pretty well, so I'm not actually really gonna get a good sword since I can PvP pretty well. This is an example of thinking like a medium player, and what separates you from being a pro. For example, these diamonds here. You're not supposed to take them. It's only three. What are the chances you're gonna make it back when you're trying to go to the middle? So now, if I go over to here, oh no, I fell. If you fall, try not to, because that's a big waste of blocks. And I'm also not saying that I'm the best, but I am good enough that I am able to win a Bed Wars match. Here's a player. I have PvP. Bam! Um, um, you had four emeralds. I am being smart and not returning with those emeralds because I'm a medium player and I am greedy. This is all a role play. This is not a. Now I, what team am I? Look, if you ever. If you Feel like you don't know what team you are. Look at your color wool. You can only get that color wool if you're on that color team. And remember, I'm not trying my hardest, and I have eight emeralds. I am getting home. Oh no, I miss I'm at a block. Can I build around the side? If anybody comes up that's not a good move because if anybody comes up you can die. So I'm not saying that you should do it. But if times are desperate and you need to get back, like let's say you have as many diamonds and emeralds as me. Oh that's a person. See, this is my base. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's my base. So, you can make that mistake. I'm just showing you what it would be like if you'd make that mistake. And it may even cost you the game to make that mistake. And I fell. See, that may, they may, they may have even cost me the game. So, see. That's why you should always go to your color base. Uh, because it is coordinated. And I should probably get prod now. But, I am going to be rushed. So, get some wool. Because if you didn't know, wool is the key to winning a Bed Wars match. And I don't have diamond armor like I would have because I'm a medium player. I'm not try hardin' and sweating. Now I'll show you what it's like when you're going full try hard. Always looking back.
building like this to keep speed up. Because you're not only only PvPing. Like, you're better. You're thinking like you're better. Because thinking that because that thinking part is actually the most important part. Right, Matthew? Yeah. See, Matthew is pretty good at Bed Wars. He plays with me sometimes, but today I am just doing a tutorial. If you want to see a video with me with him, um, just hit that like button. If we can get to five likes, I'll do a video with him. So my goal is for this channel to get... 100 subscribers in the next two days. Oh, that's too big of a goal. I'm kind of new to YouTube. I've been playing Minecraft since 2013. Which is actually true. I'm not one of those fakers. And as you can see, I have Optifine Zoom. Nobody is trying to rush me. So I just got a new account, so I need to get used to this. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hi. So, when are you going to have to go? Um, not now, but probably in the next 15 minutes or 20. Of course. Of course. So Matthew, uh, now I'm going to rush someone, and now you guys, I'm going to rush someone. See how, if you can Optifine Zoom, you can see that, zoom in now, you can see that Gray has left her face, leaving it unprotected, and since I'm a pro, I am thinking smartly, and any chance of death is bad. I usually speed faster, but I'm doing a tutorial video. I'm not breezing yet. We're even doing the... Alex, I'm going to have to go now. Oh, bye, Matthew. Sorry, bye. So, see, your sh when your shift key doesn't do that, that happens. I don't have that good of a computer, sorry. But... If your shift key does that, I don't have a good computer, so I, I need to make that happen in the episode. Just get, they have a heal pool. Keep looking back. Because as I said, thinking and knowing is half the part of becoming a pro. And half of doing that. And bed destroyed. Thank you. How do they do that? How do they do that? As I said, I'm not the best PvPer. I am. Good. Now they will rush. I know their mindset. No. Turns out they are an unusual couple of guppies. <laughs> They're rushing. Of course they do because now they have a. Oh no, I fell. I want them to get my bed to show you a point. If your bed dest gets destroyed, if it's by fire or any means, always fight back. I think this is gonna be the end of me. And yes, this is the end of me. But, as you can see, if you let your bed get destroyed, you always have to fight. That's a point I'm going to be making. And if your pros don't laugh at me, I know I died. All, he had an iron sword, so. Get a weapon first. Here are all the tips we went over of. One, don't rush immediately. Get yourself some diamonds or get yourself some armor or sword. Second, 
when you're going to be emeralds, don't take six or eight of them. If you have a couple, come back and put them in your under chest. Third, to see what base you're on, just look at your color wall. Also, don't mix any of these colors up, like pink and red, blue and cyan, because that is a majorly made mistake. Also, sharpened swords comes first. When rushing, have a mindset and check when people have left. When rushing, do not, do not speed bridge. I know we all can speed bridge, but don't. If, if that one in a million chance that your shift key comes off, then you're going to be dead with all your stuff. So do not try and do that. Also remember, think and be intelligent about where they are and strategize to get to get better. Also, bridge eggs. I, I didn't get that, but I forgot to tell you this. Bridge eggs. Bridge eggs are useful to throw to diamonds. And you see how these people fight? Don't. Do this. I am pressing left click, as you can hear. And either going straight forward or going back. Don't do that. Otherwise, they can get a lot of compass on you and you will die. Finally, armor. Don't go for chain. Go for iron. And last but not least, the fireball strat. Use a fireball to launch up and over and launch into your enemy's base and destroy their bed. Thank you for watching this Bed Wars tutorial. See you later. Bye. Oh, and one last thing. If you ever want to contact me, just contact me at alextags31 at gmail.com.